What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about mm, old news, kind of becoming new news again. I don't know about you guys, but I've never been a huge fan of the Dead Rising series. That franchise, it left a little bit to be uh, desired when it came to me and my particular zombie taste. Games like State of Decay actually are more tailored toward my zombie experience. To me, the zombie apocalypse is a terrifying idea, and when it's realized properly, it can really, really get people excited. Uh, there are, of course, zombie movies and games that are kind of tailored around the comedic side of things, and for me, those experiences, barring Shaun of the Dead, which still is scary as hell, have never really uh, suited my taste when it came to the zombie apocalypse. And to me, Dead Rising was always more on the absurd side. You're creating these insane weapons, you're doing all kinds of stuff, and you're these characters that don't really have a real degree of respect for the, the danger and the terror that are around you at every moment in these games. To me, I'd be hiding in a corner somewhere, I'd jump up in an attic and pull the string up, I'd do all the things that have worked in the past when it comes to zombies. But these games never really had that atmosphere to me. I do have uh, I do have Dead Rising 4 on my Xbox One, and I may have played it five or ten minutes, but it's more of the same Dead Rising, more of the absurdity, more of the over-the-top antics, more of the craziness. And to me, that's never really suited my taste when it comes to zombie games. But I know there's a huge demographic of people out there who love these games. And for those out there who may not have an Xbox One, who may have been disheartened at the fact that it was an Xbox exclusive, this might be good news for you. I'll drop a link in the description. Dead Rising 4, the Xbox One launch title featuring the return of zombie slaying protagonist Frank West, is finally making its long-awaited appearance on the PlayStation. Dead Rising 4 was announced as a one-year exclusive console title, and now Capcom has confirmed the upcoming game for PlayStation 4, with a bunch of extras thrown in. In December, dubbed Frank's Big Package, the PS4 release includes the full game along with the post-launch difficulty patches and Street Fighter costumes. A new mode called Capcom Heroes is also added in, which lets you tap into your inner Mega Man and Splatter Zombies brains with more than a dozen different classic Capcom characters, all with their unique abilities and special weapons. Which does sound pretty cool, but to me it doesn't really jive well with the whole zombie apocalypse vibe. Frank's big package includes all the downloads, costumes, and weapons released so far for the Xbox One and PC versions, including the goofy mini golf game and the Frank Riser chapter. Uh, this includes Street Fighter Outfit Pack, My Bloody Valentine Pack, Candy Cane Crossbow, Sly Sickle, Sir Isolot, Ugly Winter Sweater, and x Fist. If you currently own Dead Rising 4 for Xbox One and PC, you'll get the Capcom Heroes for free download when Frank's Big Package is released at the end of the year. Partly inspired by the films by George Romero, the Dead Rising games follow the adventures of intrepid photojournalist Frank West facing swarms of shambling zombies. One of the hallmarks of the series is the ability to create unusual new deadly weapons by killing zombies in creative ways. Remastered versions of the early games in the series finally appeared on PS4 last year, after more than a decade as Xbox exclusives. The first Dead Rising was an Xbox 360 title game and a big hit for Microsoft back in 2006. Since then, it spawned several sequels, a Wii port, a mobile phone version, and even a couple of live-action movies, which absolutely sucked. However, Dead Rising 4 departs somewhat from the tried-and-true formulas of the earlier games, although it does feature a return of Frank West. There are no countdown timers for the stages, and the save system is much more forgiving. Dead Rising 4 Frank's Big Package will be available for PlayStation on December 5th, 2017. So like I said, this is... For those who like these games, and I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the games, this is just my own particular personal uh, taste. I, I just don't get into them. You know, I don't like to be in... I think the idea of a Dawn of the Dead type of scenario where you're in a mall and you're you're absolutely afraid, it's filled with zombies, and you're going out, you know, George Romero style trying to survive and find survivors, that's great. But when you're, you know, making crazy weapons and you're smacking people with mascots and it takes away that fear for me. And it's just my personal thing. My personal experience in my life, zombies have been my favorite horror topic. I love zombies more than anything. Uh, and you know, there's certain games out there right now that treat zombies with the degree of respect I think most people would if a zombie apocalypse actually happened. And this game for me is just, it's fun over the top insanity. And it doesn't really jive well for that genre to me. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. If you have the PlayStation 4 and don't have the Xbox One, Dead Rising 4 Frank's Big Package 
could be the thing for you if you enjoy over the top crazy antics and of course hundreds and hundreds of zombies on the screen at one time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Please, please, pretty, pretty, please give a thumbs up to the Beastly Gamer channel. And if you guys would like to really support me, please swing over by the Patreon and support me there. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.